and a good morning to everybody. So this is the uh, qualitative analysis of 11 white solids uh, for chemistry 1. And this is the uh, pre-lab video dealing with the objectives and kind of going over uh, the synapses of it. So first off, uh, we are going to be dealing with um, different white solids. They're all going to be in uh, these containers. I know there's not 10, I mean 11 up here. We'll get the more hazardous ones tomorrow. The more hazardous ones will be in our hood vent over there. So tomorrow we're going to be identifying 11 white solids. Now, some of these solids that we're going to have are going to be in aqueous solution, and we're going to be using certain products, chemicals uh, for reactions. First, uh, for bases, we're going to use uh, PPH, what we used last year. The drops will go in here, and it will create a pink solution, and that's when we know we have a positive reaction. We will also be using a couple other products, I mean reactants, copper sulfate, iodine, what we can just find in a household store, sodium carbonate, which is just um, washing solution, and finally the last liquid uh, reactant we're going to be using is vinegar. When we're doing these processes, there's a step-by-step -step, uh, procedure, and those step-by-step -step procedures are going to be copied down in your lab notebook, but what was not in your lab notebook, as we talked about in class today, are the objectives. So, objective number one, to identify 11 white compounds correctly. So that's objective number one. Objective number two, to safely produce chemical and physical reactants or reactions to identify the white solids. So once again, to safely produce chemical and physical reactions to identify the 11 white solids. Now, the third objective is not up here, but the third objective deals with the same objective we always do. So, if you remember that objective, it's the one we always have for all labs. If you do not remember it, look up in your last labs and you will identify that last objective. So, I hope you're ready for tomorrow. If you do not do this video, well, you're not going to be coming in my lab. Make sure tomorrow, as you've already noticed on this uh, liquid, if you set it too long and don't look at it and identify it, it will slowly go back to clear. So make sure when you're identifying these pink that you do it right away or it'll uh, turn back into a clear solution. Have a good day, everybody, and I will see everybody tomorrow.